going to demonstrate how to use groups in an ultra gradebook for sorting and for uh, exporting subset of student records. So uh, we're going to filter horizontally based on assignment of groups in uh, an ultra gradebook. What we're trying to do is uh, match uh, the requirement that was born out of uh, Smart views uh, in Blackboard Original, very flexible uh, tool for um, filtering and exporting specific uh, items. And so we can see in an actual course the way this works is I have a course with uh, quite a few students and I also have uh, many uh, groups assigned to it. So I would like to be able to export uh, a specific uh, subpart of the gradebook maybe then to email to um, an administrator or maybe someone who is tracking that particular group. Uh, so for example, I have a group here called small group and as a result, I can see the grade center, all the um, items in the grade center, uh, but only for these two students. So that's the goal. That's what we're going to accomplish in uh, our ultra course. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. So there's a couple of setup um, issues that uh, we are going to uh, complete first. Uh, we are going to use uh, a grade item, and this grade item will have a custom schema, and that schema will be mapped to a group name. Uh, as a result, in all the exports of the gradebook, as well as in all the views of the uh, gradebook, this will be an item that can be uh, sorted and filtered. So step one, we're going to uh, set up uh, a custom schema. So let's go ahead and do that on the gradebook. And uh, the custom schema will be done in the settings of the gradebook, uh, manage grade schemas. And uh, here we have a schema called groups. Now, I have group 0, 1, 0, 2, and 0, 3. So if I was to put in a spreadsheet, uh, what I'm trying to accomplish is I have uh, three groups, and these groups are called actually group 0, 0, 1, and so forth. So uh, in terms of data, that's our starting point. Now, these groups then are entered into a grade schema. And uh, for just uh, ease of use, uh, I am uh, using for group one um, percentage between one and two, group three, two and three. And the reason why is because when I assign these groups manually, uh, I can just type in one, two and three and these groups will be assigned. I also have uh, an extra group called none in case I need to track in some other way um, students without an assignment or if, if it's on purpose for some reason. So these of course are uh, easily modified um, we have an interface uh, to do that. Okay, so let's uh, now take the next step. So, by the way, I did not change the letters uh, schema, the ORs are there, or if there are additional schemas, they would continue to be here. This is going to be just uh, a schema to kind of dress up the gradebook for the display. So we're going to uh, close that part. Let's not... Uh, we have here this card. And... Um, the next step is for us to create a column in the gradebook, and this column is going to uh, contain the group. Now, I made sure that it's uh, the first column here, uh, and uh, if I was to uh, preview, this column simply is hidden from students. Now, I chose not to show to students uh, that group, but um, that might be optional. Uh, here's the key, right? So we have the grading schema, set to groups and I also created a category which is um, separate from all the other grades uh, just in case there's a total column out there somewhere or or a calculated grade so this would not be confusing that this particular grade is just outside of any calculations with that being the case I can now go into the gradebook and manually if I type in one this is going to assign group one I go uh, select two, and so obviously uh, I can now manually assign uh, these groups. Now the advantage that this of course creates is that if I go now to 
export my gradebook, right? And so we'll go ahead and uh, grab the gradebook here. Uh, I'm going to uh, take all the columns, but I could have just grabbed one or selected ones. And uh, if I was to go ahead and uh, download this, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let me grab this spreadsheet here. So the downloaded spreadsheet is going to have all my students. It would have all their grades and has my groups. Now I, I kind of skipped a step uh, ready to post. That's uh, kind of a, uh, not an advanced, but a grading routine. So what I will do here is I'll go to groups um, and I'll just hit post, right? So this is just uh, how uh, the export will be a little clear upon download. So the group assignment likely takes place uh, uh, once a semester or maybe throughout the semester. So that's why we have a manual way to do that. But in the moment, I'll demonstrate how to automate this in case you have uh, more than uh, 10 students. So uh, let's go to uh, preview the spreadsheet as it is right now. So we have spreadsheet and here neatly we have the groups displayed by their name. And so what if I wanted to assign these groups in bulk? Well, uh, there are many things you can do with a spreadsheet so you can export from databases or, or manipulate them. But the end result is that if you have these assignments based on the index that we uh, specified, so I now populated my, um, my um, gradebook with the group assignments, I will save it. It's 18 at the end here, and we're going to upload this. Let's go ahead and uh, upload the file. 18 at the end, here we go. And it says it will modify the group assignment. That's exactly what we wanna do. Let's go ahead and upload. And now we have group assignment given to all the um, all the students. Now I will um, um, go ahead and um, post this grade. So again, the spreadsheet is a little cleaner uh, on, on download. So now I have uh, neatly all the students assigned to a group, and they're earning grades throughout the semester. So what's the benefit here? Well, if I go now to download the spreadsheet and I grab all the columns in it. I will open the spreadsheet and upon download, I have uh, a neatly defined groups and in the spreadsheet, there's going to be a button called filter. And so when I filter, I can now specify, okay, uh, show me only uh, one of the groups, right? Um, or you could say uh, in, instead of, um, Let's see what's happening here. Um, apply filter, how, how fancy. Okay, so um, I can do that. Uh, if I wanted to split this spreadsheet, of course uh, you can uh, uh, be more granular as far as uh, uh, removing uh, certain columns. But uh, once you are in the spreadsheet, you can group by, or you can just copy and paste um, to another file. Uh, but the filtering is going to take place and that's going to be done horizontally across all the, um, uh, all the columns. So again, uh, what we did is we uh, created a grading schema. Uh, this uh, grading schema is in uh, the settings of the gradebook. Uh, the grading schema has the groups listed. Each group has an index. Uh, this index is uh, defined here by uh, the, the basic grade. So if you tapped in 1.5, it will be evaluated to um, between one and two. So group one will be assigned. Um, we can uh, edit group names. We, we can add additional groups. All of this is done uh, within the schema. And then we assign the groups either by uh, manually uh, simply changing from this group to another group all right, so we can go ahead and change from group to group, or we can use the exported 
uh, spreadsheet, manipulate which group we want the student to be assigned to, and then simply upload it in bulk. Well, I hope that this was useful and uh, a nice way to uh, get a bit more functionality for very large courses uh, in the Ultra Gradebook. Thank you.